Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Well, McDonald's employees just got mixed screwed. And the reason why I say that, and we're gonna primarily focus on California McDonald's employees, massive layoffs happening. And it's no surprise to people that think, hey, Gavin Newsom's a tyrant, a communist, and should be uh, put in jail. But let's just throw this idea out. I'm gonna show you a news story how a bunch of employees just got laid off thinking that they were gonna make more money. And then I'm gonna show you how it's not only gonna happen all over the country, but it's gonna happen in all kinds of industries outside of McDonald's. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm gonna use this story to show you that, okay? Now, of course, the zero, this story comes out of Zero Hedge because it's such a great site. You should all check it out. All right, it's entitled, 10,000 California fast food workers mick fired thanks to $20 minimum wage. Now, while I'm starting to read this, think of everything you could put the word mick in front of when it comes to our government and the economy and put it down below. Now, it says here, nearly 10,000 California uh, fast food workers have been fired thanks to the state's new $20 minimum wage, according to the California Business and Industrial Alliance, which slammed Governor Gavin Newsom for the law, which went into effect on April 1st. Remember, the second that went into effect, it was actually told way before that, and so people were scavenging all kinds of different fast food companies, were running around like chickens with their head cut off, trying to figure out how to not only fire employees because they can't afford to raise food prices any longer, but also how they could still deliver food and make profit. It says California businesses have been under total attack and total assault for years, said Tom Manazzaro, the president of this foundation and founder in a statement to Fox Business, adding, it's just another law that puts businesses in further jeopardy. According to Manzo, nearly 10,000 fast food jobs have been cut across the state since Newsom signed Assembly Bill 1287 into law last year. He says you can only raise prices so much, and he's absolutely correct. The fact of the matter is, who wants to pay $18 for a Big Mac? you know what, I'll get back over to McDonald's. I just don't want to make the employees nervous. They're already nervous enough. They're like, we got to raise the prices a little bit more. We're screwed. <laughs> no, you're McFired. And that is exactly, exactly what's happening. Now, how am I going to turn this into a news story or the truth, show you the facts of what's going on in the real economy? Well, this is really easy to figure out. All over the place. And this was perfect during Obama's term. When Obama came out and says, hey, we're going to force companies to pay for health insurance. And there's gotta be a threshold, right? And they said, 40 hours? Well, why don't we cut it to a little bit more? So at first it was 40 hours, and employers said, okay, we're gonna stop giving people 40 hours a week. We're gonna give them 38 or 38 and a half. And they thought, that's gonna fix it, because now, a lot of our employees, we don't have to pay them those insurance, uh, and you know, health insurance for them. And then they changed the bar, they lowered it down a bit. And then companies reacted. They said, okay, we're gonna lower the threshold of, you know, we'll hire some more people. We'll actually employ a little bit more people, but give them all less hours. They're underemployed, not full time. So this is not something new. So when some, you know, total, uh, I, I, all, they're not good words in my head. Uh, let's just say the word clown, like Gavin Newsom comes out and goes, I got this. We're gonna force companies to pay you more, right? Well, now you're gonna lose your job to a robot or to AI. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you go inside right now, most of the hamburgers are not made by a human anymore. Sure, maybe a human has to hand them to you because they haven't figured out some really cool way or a drone to drop them in your lap. But the fact of the matter is, is there. Every time the government gets involved and tries to help you, they also do know this. These government employees, they're pretty smart. They know that it's gonna lead to layoffs, but it doesn't matter because in the end term, it's gonna get them votes. That's what's happening. And you're gonna see this across the nation because more and more uh, government clampdown, what I mean by clampdown is the government's getting involved and saying, 
to all kinds of companies. You need to give your employees better benefits. You need to pay them more. You need to do all these things. As a matter of fact, since COVID, you've seen the government come out and tell banks, you need to let them not pay their mortgage for a while. You need uh, landlords to not let your, uh, to not force your tenants to pay rent. The government control on money is getting so bad, it is going to create an epic collapse because it's leading to unemployment rising. And again, I wanna remind you, this is what the Fed wants. They want you to lose your job. They want a certain amount of uh, job losses to where it offsets the amount of buying in the economy, which will reduce inflation, thus causing deflation or disinflation, whatever way you wanna call it. They want a certain amount to them employed and begging the government for money is actually a good thing. This is how economics work. It's so darn easy, I can't believe it. And if you don't see these things coming ahead of time and move sideways, well, let's shift over a little bit and let the crazy train go past you, you're gonna get smacked and crushed by the crazy train. I don't wanna be smacked by the crazy train. I like when the crazy train comes. It's called sort of like a reset or anytime a good old fashioned recession or depression comes, it's a reset and it allows people like you and like me that see it ahead of time and don't go go crazy buying cars we can't afford and wearing all this fancy clothes and Louis Vuitton and all this crap that we can't afford. We sit back, let all the crazy people that want to impress other people on the internet do their thing and then we're going to go buy all their stuff. This is a great time to plug it. Pre-filming discount for the, uh, the Mortgage Master. If you want to be ready for this and learn how to become a tier one borrower, you want to be a prime borrower and they beg to give you money at great prices when real estate's crashing, go check out the course. If not, don't worry. And I'll tell you what, I'll even give you something. If you think after 14 days you have watched less than 50%, y'all, this isn't going to change my life or help me out, I'll give you your money back. Now, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? I guarantee you that's going to be a lot nicer than losing your job at McDonald's. All right, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching The Economic Ninja. Oh, wait, where am I pointing? I don't even know how to point on this thing. Is out.